Driving through the countryside of rural Indiana can be a very pleasant experience with its wide open spaces and feeling of tranquility. But look deeper and you might find communities there struggling with many problems. Poverty, an aging population, young people leaving for opportunities elsewhere, diminishing ranks of volunteers who help provide services to the needy, inadequate access to health care. Researchers at Purdue University are shedding light on the problems with a series of publications based on their analysis of 2010 census figures at the county level. Their objective is to help local leaders and policymakers in state government better tackle the many quality of life issues in rural Indiana. Our rural communities are going to have a very significant aged population, and that has some real consequences in terms of just uh, transportation, being able to get around, housing. Um, it also has consequences um, in terms of the services that are provided in the community. So another consequence is um, at becoming an urban county is when we look at the downtowns, really, really struggling. For instance, Carroll County has 40% of its population that commutes out every day. Um, well, when people commute out, they're shopping. So there's a big lure of the Walmarts and the large uh, stores and amenities in the urban counties. And it's leaving uh, those rural main streets like the five and 10 cent store there in Flora struggling. Uh, grocery stores, uh, it's very hard for them to compete. We brought together the people that are the service providers to talk about their services, what they felt the needs were, and then what we could do as a, a community. And one of those issues is transportation um, and being able to get senior citizens to the doctor, to the pharmacy, uh, to get groceries and um, those kinds of, of services. People come to us, um, for example, someone came to us who was able to drive, now she's not able to drive, and coming to us for transportation services and just reiterated that, oh, you just don't realize the need for this. Some communities are taking stock of themselves and seizing opportunities to move forward. The state has designated Delphi and Carroll County as one of six stellar communities. Being a stellar community made Delphi eligible for state funding to help bring its development projects to reality. The city's plans include a new downtown streetscape, restoration of its 1800s era opera house, and renovation of homes in core downtown neighborhoods, among other improvements. Mayor Randy Strasser calls the opera house renovation the linchpin of the city's development initiative. So what we're doing here is probably going to end up taking about four years to get completed. Uh, if we were, because of the limitations on some of the funding from some of those funding agencies, if we were to do this uh, with the grants that are allowed at a time to the communities, it would probably take us 15 to 20 years to be able to complete what we're going to do in about four years. There's some challenging uh, situations with the economy and with the lure of the urban, urban areas. But rural communities also have a tremendous amount of assets in terms of their history, the environment, the natural resources, the quality of life that are a big attraction for people. And it's seizing those opportunities and seeing what could be. And this requires some planning and some organization, some leadership which is uh, absolutely key, and it's bringing the people together to, to see those opportunities.